Hiya, I'm standing in front of the Azire Learning Center. I'm going to walk inside now, not through one of the windows. It's only partially res, that's why it's still so gray. But as I walk in, it'll get a little bit brighter. This is a learning, passive learning center that I set up a number of years ago with Carlos. We've had almost 2,100 visitors in um, the space since we opened it up. Most of the information on this floor is about parapsychology. As you can tell, we've got um, the notice for the study that Christine and Carlos are, are doing here. If an avatar clicks on this, I'll show you what happens. They get a folder called Synesthesia Survey, and in that folder will be a, um, a note card that tells them about the study. <clears throat> and it has the same information in all of the that we had in all of the um, broadcast emails that we sent around about this particular study, how to get in touch with them, and so on. So this is being done so they can recruit subject inside of Second Life. This other one over here is a survey that's being done by Research Triangle Institute International, and I'm just um, <clears throat> helping them publicize it. Along here, we have a lot of note cards that are full of information about parapsychology. And then these are um, URL givers that take people out to webinars that we've done in the past. Over here on the wall, you can see, not too well at the moment, but you can see the PowerPoint um, slideshow that we have up. It runs all the time, 24-7, and it's in an introduction to the field. And if a person clicks on this little pillar that you see in front of it, it will give you the reference list for the for the slideshow. So all of the various references that we use to put together the slides. Now even though this is not all resed in, I want to go upstairs so you can see the space where um, the ARI study group takes place. This is a two-story building. Originally I rented it for 50 cents a week um, and now I own it. <coughs> trying to go up the stairs. Sometimes when it's laggy like this, you end up kind of going all over the joint. So wait, let me give that another try. <clears throat> I'm going to pause this for a sec. Well, I don't know if I can do that. I think I can. Let me pause it for a second. Get up. Now I'm up on the second floor. This is where um, uh, Gina Pickersgill from London, who's a healer and a counselor from London, runs an Edgar Casey study group. You can't quite see the um, PowerPoint as yet. We'll hold on a minute and see if we can get that to appear. But she gets anywhere from 20 to 30 avatars in here on a Sunday to um, talk about Edgar Casey. I'm going to pause it for another set. Now you can see the sign and the materials. We were written up in one of the donor letters which she has framed on the wall. And basically people come in and sit down and they're here for an hour and they all talk. It's usually a voice meeting. Sometimes they do meditations together. Sometimes they read books and talk about that together. But she does this at the last Sunday of every month. Now you can see a little bit better what's going on downstairs. I'm about to shut this this video down. Um, I have pictures on the wall of individuals who have done research in the field. You might know who that guy is. And the idea is that you click and it takes you through to their websites and information about them. Um, this is the schedule right here for the meetings upstairs and beyond in this back area back here. We have 51 websites of associations and organizations that are interested in parapsychology. So this is basically here all the time and anybody who's interested can get in touch with me um, um, and read some of the materials that are there, see some of the webinars and so on. Now you can get a better look at the top of it. Okay.